All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a two by four to get our 30, or I'm sorry, our 45, our 60, and our 30 degree angles instead of a speed square. So we're deployed, we don't have the speed square, we're in charge of making the rakes, and we're just gonna show you how to do this with a two by four. So a three and a half by three and a half, three and a half by inch and a half, uh, two by four. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line this up on the four by four and draw a line. Then the width, three and a half, I'm gonna draw another line on the other side of it. So it looks like this. Then I'm gonna take the two corners and connect them with the two by four. As such. Now, if you take your speed square, you don't have this, but I'm gonna sh just show you how it works. So then if I take this and I rotate this up to the pivot to 45, you're gonna notice that my line is right there. So there's your 45 degree cut. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the 30. So we'll do the same thing. We're gonna do a three and a half by three and a half. Then we're gonna flip this to the inch and a half on the two by four at the bottom. And then we're gonna draw a line. Try to get this squared up here. Now the distance between this point and this point is gonna be our 30. So again, I'm gonna line it up from point to point. Draw my line. And now if we take the speed square, do the same thing and we pivot on our point. If you line it up, if you look over here, it lines up with 30. All right. And the last one we're gonna do is a 60. This one's not gonna be uh, Exactly perfect because obviously the chips and stuff on the 4x4 is going to throw it off a little bit, but it's going to get you close enough. All right, so same thing. We're going to this time we're going to double the this one. We're going to go full side once, three and a half. Then we're going to do another one, full three and a half. And then we're going to come in on an inch and a half. on the bottom. So we're gonna connect this point to this point over here. I'll take my two by four and go from point to point. So you can see it. Draw my line. All right, and then if we want to check it, obviously we're not gonna have this, but just so you guys can see it, as, as I pivot it up to the line, there's my line, there's my 60, or right there. Now obviously you'd have to put your inch and a half cut returns into it. So if you're coming up here to do your inch and a half returns, remember this is for my cut, I can use this. I'm gonna come whatever side the line is for my return cuts, there's my inch and a half. So this would be my 60. And if I came over here for my 30, I would do the same thing. This would be my 30 and then my 45. I would use the two by four, get my return cut and there's my 45. All right, so 45, 30 and 60, just using a two by four on your rake. 